This is a video response to the Amazing Hayes. Um, I uh, I ran into the Amazing Hayes' channel through uh, initially at Whiskey Tom, and then also through H1 Inc., who uh, both of those guys I have a lot of respect for. Um, now I've got some I've got some different uh, different viewpoints compared to uh, compared to Corey and and Raw Dog and and some of those other guys, but um, I think. Um, in your video where you ask about America in 2012 and what do we think is going to happen, um, in your situation, you know you're a you're a young man and everything, and you have to uh, you have to kind of go go within what your what your family has going on. Um, you know, I, w I wanted to respond to a couple of things on it. Um, there will there will most definitely come a time where people will listen to you. You know, I, I know it. It seems when you're younger, nobody listens, but uh, I'll tell you what, some people do, and you never, you never know who is listening. Um, but that's that's kind of off topic. What is on topic? Uh, what do I think we can look for in this country in 2012? Um, are we looking for like food riots, uh, brownouts, calamity, the EMP coronal event, uh, hyperinflation, stagflation, deflation? Um, let's start out with, uh, the minimum, what we're going to see next year, no matter what. Next year, no matter what, the minimum we're going to see is more of the same of this stuff. Um, uh, market volatility is going to, as far as the Dow and stuff like that, it's going to continue going up and down. I mean, near violently by historic standards. Um... And what does that really matter? I mean, everybody's broke right now anyway, so does the average person have money in the market? I don't know. Um, I couldn't I couldn't tell you what the average person does. Um, I was just PM into a friend about, about this very subject um, as far as if, if our nation's going to turn around. And I honestly don't think that we're going to see any sort of any sort of turnaround or or any sort of change until people forget TARP, until people forget the bailouts. Because, honestly, um, what incentive is it for a entrepreneur or somebody who wants to, uh, you know, throw their hat in the ring of business? What What's the point of doing that when the big guys just get bailed out? So, like, I starve to death while the big guys get bailed out. So until until the memory of that is long forgotten... We're not going to see the prosperity that uh, that we were used to in the in the you know late '80s and the '90s and the the early 2000s. So what does that mean for us next year? Um, I honestly don't know. I don't I don't see a reason for um, for food shortages, um, but that doesn't mean that they're not possible by no means. But it also doesn't mean that they're guaranteed either. Um, I, I know in, in um, one of your other videos you ask about silver and gold. The, it's funny the things that um, that become valuable. Uh, in my own personal experience with uh, natural disasters and everything, money money becomes such a non-issue so quick. It's it's amazing uh, when when people don't know where their their next cup of water is going to come from or their next bit of food is going to come from all the money in the world isn't going to buy the water and the food from them so if you have if you have the means or or the what am i looking for what word here if you have the ability to educate yourself on on how to acquire water how to acquire food things like that very durable goods you know, it's, it's always a good plan, no matter what. Um, we talk about shit hitting the fan, the SHTF and everything. Dude, SHTF, on a personal level, hits people all the time. So being educated and prepared for that eventuality, you know, you don't have to wait for an EMP to, to have lost your job as an adult. And to have, like, six months or a year's worth of, of storage or, or whatever is empowering. It allows you to make the decisions you have to make instead of just still grinding away and, and living under, um, under the authority of someone who's, who may not have, uh, your best interest at heart. Now I'm not talking about your folks or anything. What I mean is when you, when you get a job and, and you're, 
you're just sort of trudging along and uh, an over dependence on the, on the government. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if I necessarily answered your question, but I'm not necessarily psychic. So in summation, the best it's going to be next year is, is more of the same. And, um, you know, look for downhill from there because 2012, 2012 is going to have something in the air all the way till the end. And, uh, you know, 2013 hits, if it does manage to hit, then, um, you know, look, look for the, look for things to turn up. You know, people that are, that are dead set on everything ending in 2012 are going to have to, uh, they're going to have to reassess. And when they reassess, they're going to engage. And I would actually look for good things in 2013 if, if we make it that far. <laughs> so, um, hey man, those are my viewpoints and, um, good on you for, for getting involved in these discussions and, and educating yourself and everything else. And, uh, you know, don't forget to live, don't forget to have fun. And, uh, most definitely don't forget to have fun because there's a, there's a time to be, there's a time to be bogged down with the worries of life and, um, too young isn't the time for that. So, um, you know, enjoy where you're at, dude, most of all. All right. We'll see you.